Ladies and gentlemen, with our main uh, topic today, we're uh, uh, discussing uh, today uh, in our main topic, President Abdel Fattah Sisi's uh, inspection of the equipment uh, lineup uh, used in implementing uh, uh, the plan to develop uh, and reconstruct, uh, reconstruct Sinai uh, trucks, bulldozers, uh, and loaders were lined up as President Abdel Fattah Sisi inspected and uh, toured the, the display area. The President also uh, talked with a number of officials and also uh, uh, delivered uh, uh, or um, uh, made uh, uh, statements uh, while inspecting uh, the equipment. Uh, well, to shed more light on uh, this, uh, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phone with Dr. Mustafa Tamam, uh, Professor of Political Science. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning to you. Well, uh, Dr. Tamam, uh, how do you see President Abdel Fattah Sisi's uh, keenness uh, to inspect uh, the uh, lineup equipment uh, uh, used in implementing uh, and reconstructing and developing uh, uh, the Sinai Peninsula? Well, this gives a message, a very important message that the President and the Administration is giving a lot of importance to Sinai, which was neglected uh, since a long time ago. Uh, Sinai uh, consists of a lot of potential uh, uh, in, uh, opportunities in uh, various economic areas. And certainly uh, the development of Sinai will cause that the development of Egypt will uh, uprise also. Certainly there are a lot of resources, you see, uh, natural resources in Sinai which are not being exploited. And certainly uh, giving this importance, certainly will raise the economy and certainly will also uh, reduce the unemployment rate because it will cre create a lot of jobs for uh, the Sinai uh, residents. And uh, finally, it will attract investors also from abroad in order to in invest in uh, me mega projects uh, which will be erected in Sinai. Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Tamem uh, also uh, the president spoke about uh, uh, that Egypt was able to combat uh, terrorism at the same time was going with its uh, um, uh, developing of Sinai uh, uh, parallel to uh, fighting terrorism. How do you see this? Uh, well, this is a very important point that you raised, certainly by developing Sinai and by giving a lot of importance to it, which was neglected at the past. Certainly, this will reduce uh, terrorism, and you see uh, there have been a lot of efforts done by the army and the, uh, the police in order to, uh, eliminate, to reduce the number of uh, terrorist uh, acts, and certainly uh, the state has succeeded in that, and uh, this will uh, create political stability also for Sinai and for the people there. They will feel secure that, uh, uh, that the country is backing them and that uh, no acts of this uh, such force will be taking place again. Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Tamem, uh, also uh, uh, the state was preserving uh, security uh, in, uh, and stability in Sinai. How would this uh, attract investment uh, to Sinai going parallel with the uh, constru reconstruction and developing of Sinai, the attracting of uh, investment? Certainly. Without having uh, stability, you see, without having the, uh, reducing the act of terrorism or eliminate it completely, certainly no investors will take the risk of coming in, into a place where they, uh, their investments would be uh, probably uh, faced by problems like uh, they might lose casualties, they might lose uh, their, uh, you see, uh, their uh, uh, capital which, uh, which is invested in these projects if terrorism exists. So certainly eliminating terrorism or reducing it is very, very important to attract investors. Uh, and uh, the, as I mentioned before, uh, the state has uh, uh, exhibited a lot of efforts, the army and the police, in order to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to reduce or uh, eliminate these terrorist organizations. Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Tamem, uh, also uh, yesterday uh, uh, the president was inspecting the lineup uh, equipment and we saw uh, long roads uh, of uh, long roads uh, of uh, the uh, trucks, uh, bulldozers uh, and loaders that were lined up 
uh, in a huge area um, uh, showing uh, the size of development and uh, uh, construction and reconstruction that is taking place uh, in Sinai. What is the message uh, um, that Egypt is sending uh, to uh, the Egyptians and the whole world from this uh, uh, photos we see, saw yesterday? Well, the message is obvious that uh, we have the facilities and the equipment needed and uh, they are uh, the state of art equipment which are uh, there in order to uh, start the development program it's a message that we are ready to do it uh, and uh, that everything is under uh, sort of strict control and the, these equipments are latest technologies in order that uh, these projects will be starting immediately Yes, uh, so uh, also uh, the state is uh, making a plan also uh, to uh, uh, use or benefit uh, the, uh, and to make the utmost use of uh, the so many resources uh, and treasures in Sinai. Uh, if you could comment on this, please. Uh, certainly, this is very important because the Sinai, as I mentioned, uh, has a lot of potential in the field of mineral resources and the field of natural resources. Uh, and uh, in also in the field of tourism, you see. So uh, you have a lot of aspects that you can develop in order to attract uh, investors coming to erect projects in various uh, domains, as I mentioned just now. Uh, and certainly, uh, this is uh, the, the it will be important. The role uh, of the state probably will be to magnify and give an idea about what are the opportunities there available for investors to come. Certainly, this will be through the media, probably uh, very, uh, various media channels, uh, newspapers, uh, television programs, which will be probably uh, recorded on site. Uh, this, uh, this communication methodology certainly will give an idea uh, about the realities, about what's happening really in Sinai. Yes, uh, so uh, also um, uh, Dr. Tamam, um, uh, by uh, um, um, how would uh, um, achieving uh, the development in Sinai and reconstructing and developing work would uh, be an added value to the economy in uh, Egypt? Definitely will be because certainly we'll be uh, adding a lot of projects there in various uh, domains as I just mentioned now. Certainly, it will create opportunities, job opportunities, a lot of job opportunities, and reduce the unemployment rate. Uh, number three, certainly, if uh, will be uh, if uh, when in, uh, foreign investors who come, they are going to add to us the technologies. They're going to transfer the technology uh, that is needed in order to enact uh, these projects, uh, and they're going to probably provide training and development to these uh, to to, uh, to upgrade our human resources so certainly a lot of aspects as i just mentioned now positive aspects will be uh, shown now Yes, uh, during uh, the inspection uh, tour uh, by President Abdel Fattah Sisi to the lineup of uh, the equipments uh, uh, in Sinai uh, yesterday in Al Ismailia Governorate, uh, the President uh, uh, gave statements uh, saying uh, that uh, uh, the uh, uh, the state bodies are invited to be present and to take role in Sinai uh, after the defeat of uh, ter terrorism. Uh, asserting that the fellow citizens in Sinai should feel uh, how great are the Egyptian state development uh, efforts. So uh, could you give us also your insight concerning uh, the president inviting uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the uh, other uh, 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 state bodies to be present and take role in Sinai? Yes, this is a message again uh, showing that uh, we are serious in development and we have plans and we have objectives, and we have the equipment, and we have the methodology. Uh, it was all uh, probably by lining up all the equipment that you just mentioned now. Uh, this is a message that we are really doing, uh, not only talking or, or doing statements, but we are going to realities to reach our objectives. 
Yes, uh, so the president also uh, pointed out that Sinai's area is 60,000 square kilometers that needed huge sp spending uh, to build the, the, its uh, infrastructure, asserting that the people should know about the great achievements uh, uh, made so uh, far. Uh, could you comment, please, or elaborate? Certainly, uh, building the infrastructure is the first step in order to attract investors, because if you, if you don't have the proper infrastructure, no one is going to come, uh, you see, uh, to invest in, 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 a, in a certain area, you see. Uh, and uh, probably we have uh, evidence a lot of uh, projects and success projects in the infrastructure in all Egypt, you see. Now you see the roads, the communication, uh, the electricity. You remember since five years ago, we had the power cuts, electricity power cuts for seven or eight hours at night. You see, this has been eliminated completely and you have a surplus. On the other side, the transportation, the road system is very, very important, and the state has made a lot of efforts in this respect. And certainly, the drainage system also is, has been developed in order to, uh, uh, to overcome any problems in this respect. Yes, uh, the president also yesterday uh, have uh, uh, called for holding uh, constant uh, contacts uh, with the tribal elders uh, in uh, uh, Sinai as well as the border governorates. Uh, and uh, the president have honored several distinguished citizens from Sinai in recognition of their achievements. So the unity of the Egyptians and the coordination between the citizens and the state uh, in Sinai uh, could you please uh, elaborate? Uh, certainly, this is very important because it encourages, uh, it gives an imp uh, a very important message that the president and the state is giving a lot of importance to the Sinai citizens, and this certainly will encourage other citizens to uh, take initiatives in order to uh, develop and uh, create new projects and uh, get Sinai at the top, you see, of the economy. Uh, as you mentioned, we have a lot of resources, we have a lot of uh, opportunities there, and certainly uh, by uh, having, the, by, by uh, uh, giving recognition by the president to these citizens, uh, this is a message that the state uh, is not only uh, giving importance to uh, other uh, governments, it's giving a lot of importance to Sinai, and this will encourage probably a lot of uh, citizens there to start any new initiatives. Yes, uh, so also during uh, the tour and the statements by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, uh, the President extended a greeting uh, uh, to Egypt's martyrs, especially police, uh, army and judiciary personnel who sacrificed for the sake of the nation, observing a moment of silence uh, in uh, grief over the martyrs. So what makes... Uh, 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 after these uh, uh, statements by the president, uh, uh, could you give us an idea about how precious uh, Sinai is for all the Egyptians and the sacrifices that took place there? Uh, certainly, uh, this is a very important point, and this is uh, certainly the president has. It's not. It's not only. It's not the first time that he uh, recognizes the martyrs that have been uh, we lost. Is either in the police uh, or in the army, and uh, they have sacrificed their lives in order that the whole uh, that Egypt will raise again. You see, and uh, certainly uh, this uh, has been repeated. It's not the first time the president recognizes the martyrs. You see, it has been this this action has been taken uh, several times, and uh, there have been ceremonies also where uh, he received the wives and the children of uh, the martyrs and he recognized and gave them uh, probably prizes and uh, probably uh, recognition uh, medals. So certainly uh, this is a message that uh, the state really appreciates what happened uh, by, uh, by these martyrs who gave their lives in order to stabilize the country. Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Tamem, about linking uh, uh, Sinai with the uh, 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 other governorates in uh, Egypt, uh, and uh, of course uh, Sinai is a precious part of uh, uh, Egypt, uh, and uh, uh, when it comes to Sinai, the Egyptians are so emotional about this uh, uh, very uh, 
rich uh, and very uh, near and dear uh, uh, part of uh, uh, Egypt. So the uh, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli spoke yesterday about uh, uh, linking uh, Sinai more with uh, uh, the other governorates and with Cairo as uh, he said that uh, five new tunnels leading into the peninsula were set up in uh, a very short time together with the seven flyover uh, bridges. So uh, give us an idea about this, please. Certainly, uh, communication, you see, as you just mentioned now, between Sinai uh, in, by various methodologies is very, uh, Sinai and other uh, governments of Egypt is very, very important in order that uh, the Sinai uh, people and the citizens do not feel isolated, you see, uh, from Egypt, uh, from their main country. And certainly will facilitate communication between these uh, governments, as you mentioned. We had the bridges and all these methodologies that have been uh, erected. Certainly, uh, this is very, very important and will certainly facilitate the in and out people and will encourage probably citizens from uh, gov other governments in Egypt here to visit Sinai and to probably uh have uh, an idea about what's going on it will encourage certainly if we have a proper infrastructure a proper transportation system certainly and the proper road system it will encourage people citizens from cairo or alexandria or other governments to come yes. and visit sinai and see what's going there Yes, so also uh, Dr. Tamem, uh, we spoke about linking uh, Sinai with the uh, other parts of uh, Egypt. Uh, now we'd like to shed light on linking uh, Sinai with the whole world. As the Prime Minister uh, yesterday said that all airports in northern and southern Sinai were uh, um, uh, reconstructed, particularly the International Bardawil uh, Airport that serves northern uh, Sinai. Also the Sharm el-Sheikh Airport uh, was also transferred and was developed, of course, uh, to cope with the, as uh, Egypt have uh, uh, hosted the COP27 conference, uh, and other developed airports like uh, uh, Taba and El Tour, and uh, lately the uh, St. Catherine Airport. So could you shed light on linking uh, uh, Sinai uh, with the other parts of the world? through uh, developing all the airports, and especially in Sharm el-Sheikh, of course, uh, which is a very uh, unique uh, place in uh, Egypt. Uh, certainly, this is a very important uh, point you have raised, you see, today, because without having this proper infrastructure of airports mm -hmm. and facilities, we will not be able to attract tourism, you see. Uh, and certainly, this will encourage, uh, encourage uh, charter flights, uh, as we have in uh, Gorgaya and other uh, governments, we have a lot of tourists which visit directly these uh, governments without passing by Cairo. So certainly this will encourage charter flights in order to uh, come here and uh, land in Egypt and certainly will, at will uh, uh, attract more tourists, uh, tourism uh, from various countries to come and visit Egypt and on the other side also uh, they will uh, have a chance to see what's going on and certainly will encourage also investors to come and have a look what's going on before they probably they think of starting of that project. They can come and have a look what's going on and uh, certainly by upgrading the airports, this is very, very important. It will yes. uh, probably give a chance to a lot of uh, citizens from all over the world who are interested actually in Sinai to come and visit here. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information. Dr. Mustafa Tamam, Professor of Political Science, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for following me in this segment. I leave you with my colleague, Nermin Abdurrahman. My name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more in The Breakfast Show.